hello friends welcome back to our channel so in today's video we will see how we can install dot net core 8 in our uh, visual studio so you can see the visual studio so you need uh, visual studio 2022 for this uh, so currently you will see that i have only option dot net 6.0 here so i don't have dot net 7.0 and not dot net 8.0 so we will see what we have to do for installing the .NET 8.0 so you have to search for .NET Core download and the first link you see here you have to go on that So this is the link guys and here you will see all the versions that .NET have and we have to find the ones that we need so .NET 8.0 are the latest ones. So here you will see .NET Core uh, runtime 8.0. So we have to download the hosting bundle here okay you can click on that and it will start downloading. Uh, press the back button here and then what you have to do is you have to also download the dotnet runtime 8.0 so we will download the 64 bit version over here and this will also start downloading ok guys and then we will again press back and if you need the desktop runtime then you can download that uh, otherwise what you can do is you can download the SDK from here ok so basically we will download everything related to 8.0 ok so once these three will download then we will see what we have to do next so we will start installing these one by one So it won't take much time to install so this one is a really fast the only thing that will consume your time is updating the visual studio so what we will need to do is we have to install these three packages first and then we have to update the visual studio uh, so that that can adapt with the new dotnet core version okay only after that you will be able to use the dotnet core 8.0 okay so it is gonna take some seconds So now you can see it is installed properly now we can go and click on the next one so it says that it is already installed so we will not do anything with that now we will go on the third one
so basically guys the hosting bundle the first file that we installed so that works most of the time but in case that doesn't work then we will try to install the other two also okay uh, so basically hosting service uh, hosting file this one uh, actually have the runtime also okay so that's why the other one the runtime didn't need it to install um, but like if this one it gets installed and then you have to actually try this one also okay if it says it is already installed then no issue okay and then the sdk one we will download so it is gonna take some seconds So now we will just close the installer and close this one okay so we don't want to cancel so i think i clicked that twice okay so now we will go back to visual studio currently it will not show the 8.0 okay so we will go with the 6.0 only or whatever is available in your uh, system so we will go to the help window so you see that it is saying that we can uh, update the visual studio now uh, so we will go to help and check for updates So here you will see the update version so we will click on update so now this will take some time to install the updates so we will close the visual studio till that time so it has started downloading the update so you are seeing that it will download the 2.63 gb uh, and then it will install the packages side by side so this can take some time uh, so i will resume the uh, i will pause the video for some time and then uh, i will enable this once it is about to get completed so guys you can see now that this is about to get complete so once this completes then what you can do is you have to like uh, reopen the visual studio and then you can create one new project for dotnet core and then you can see uh, if you are able to find the dotnet core 8 option there so we will just also see that once this completes so we will click on ok there and then we will again search for visual studio 
we will create a new project so that will again show the options like which uh, frameworks are available there so we will select this asp.net core web app uh, model view controller and then we will click on the next and again next so you can see here that we have now got the dotnet 8.0 option here you can select that and you can click on create and this will create a new application uh, new project with the dotnet core uh, 8.0 framework so this is how you can install uh, .NET Core 8.0 in your uh, Visual Studio guys so let us know if you face any kind of issue and thanks for watching guys and don't forget to subscribe the channel so thank you